Unseen response analysis of a cantilever beam subjected to sinusoidal load. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to perform transient response analysis and how to add variable load data in FIST. The beam is of length 3000 mm with a diameter of 200 mm. The material properties are Young's modulus 200 GPA, Poisson's ratio 0 0.3 and density 7800 kg per meter cube. The load is sin 12.56 T which is having a frequency of 2 Hz and is applied at the free end of the cantilever beam. The transient response analysis is performed for 1 second with 2% damping. For creating the curve, you need 2 key points. For creating the key points, go to Create a key point by XYZ Create key point at 0 0 0 and 3000 0 0 Two key points will be created on the window. Now create a line using the option create line. Select snap to point option. Pick the two points. Curve will be created. You have to mesh the curve. For that go to generate mesh bar. Click the curve. Enter the element size. Enter the element size by picking two points on the curve. Click on subdivisions and adjust the number of divisions to 10. Click apply. Mesh will be created. Now go to geometry curve miscellaneous. Pick erase. Select the curve. The curve will be erased from the window. You have to apply the boundary condition. For that go to load boundary condition. Displacement boundary condition. Add. Pick the leftmost node. Arrest all degrees of freedom by ticking on UX, UY, UZ and RX, RY, RZ. Click apply. Boundary condition will be applied. Now go to property, material, select all, click material data, enter the Young's modulus value as 200,000 and Poisson's ratio 0.3. Also enter the density as 7.8 E-9. Click OK. Material will be assigned. You have to enter the beam property. For that go to physical beam properties. Standard section add. Select all the elements. Click cross section shape dialog box. Select circle. Enter the diameter value as 200. Click OK. Click Apply. The cross section will be assigned. Now you have to define the sign load. For that go to Property, Function, Expression. Enter the expression by clicking on the button like sign 12.56 into t the t means time click ok function expression will be created go to edit box click on function set 1 you can see the function go to load point load add select the node at the rightmost end Click on the box next to data, select the expression, click accept. The expression we have created will be assigned here. Select the direction as FY, click apply. The load will be displayed in the window. Go to analysis, analysis type, set analysis type as transient response, click apply, go to analysis, transient response, select analysis option, click apply, 
now go to analysis transient response general add in the response data select again data as 20 and number of time steps as 100 start time of analysis 0 and the end time of analysis as once again select mass computation as lumped select all node readies click apply transient general data will be created now go to analysis transient response damping add click on damping factor rectangular button for frequency 1 under the damping factor as 0.02 400 0.02 click ok run solver confirm s you will show finished successfully now go to post deformed shape select superimpose and select the time step select 0 0.01 it will show the actual model and displaced model for the time step 0 0.01 go to beam plots force diagram Select axial for time step 0 0.01. Click apply, it will show the beam force at 0 0.01 time step. Select time step 0.25. It will show the beam force at the time step 0 0.25. Click exit post view. Go to post history plot. Select displacement. Select a node. Select dy. It will display the displacement versus time graph. Click on velocity. It will show velocity versus time graph. Go to acceleration, it will show acceleration versus time graph. Exit post view. Go to vector. Select all the node IDs. Select time step as 0 0.07. It will display the vector plot of displacement. Change the time step and see the variation in displacement as a vector plot. Go to view result, post view result and a displacement at point zero 0.01 the time step. It will display displacement for all node IDs at point zero 0.01 time step. Exit post view.